The crowd is assembled at the American Airlines Center looking for a Mavericks win here in downtown Dallas. For the Dallas Mavericks, they won their last contest, that game against the Nets. And that result, guys, was a real shock. It was just about as complete a... ...in for JaVale McGee. Villanueva comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. Harris is checked in for Wesley Matthews. And Berea subbed in for Williams. Setting the floor for the Suns. Freak in at point guard. John Luer is out there with Warren. Then there's Len, and it's Knight in at shooting guard. A nice shot by Berea. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy putback. Now here's Freak, guarded by Berea. It's Knight with the drive. Now the feed to Freak, 11 feet away, and the foul called on Brandon Knight. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Boy, did he go hard to the boards, but clearly went over the back in doing it. Yeah, kudos for the effort. I always love that kind of effort, but he was just a little overzealous. And guys, what a spark plug J.J. Barea has been throughout his career. When he comes in the game, you can feel the lift. We saw a couple games against Houston in the playoffs, saw it back in 2011 in the championship season for the Mavs. That's a great point. I mean, he has an energizing effect on his teammates, the fans, and the announcers. I mean, he just brings so much spirit and hustle the to the game. It's very Stick hard it not up. to root for a guy like that. A nice shot by Knight. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Larson's outside. Screen by Villanueva. Parsons dishes to Villanueva. A chance here to check out Brandon Knight. How his last 10 games have gone. He's putting up about 12 points a game, five assists, and two rebounds. And he's really been pulling his weight. He's had a hand in some big plays here recently. Yeah, in every way, I think he's doing a much better job, and the numbers certainly support that. Yeah, you, you just have to be more disciplined. I mean, too many fouls and free throw attempts for the opponent. You know, it's one of the things coaches like least is giving away points. I mean, they've been a step late. They've been caught reaching. They've got to tighten things up at the defensive end. Dallas has gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Harris kicks to Berea. Dallas, no good that time either. Phoenix Suns come into this one following a loss to New York. Yeah, I had the chills watching that. It really was a nightmare defensively for them. When you go into that building and get punished by some very hot shooting. They didn't challenge the shooters. They didn't defend the shooters like they should have. And once the fans got into it and the arena started ramping up and cranking up, uh, it was over. The Suns shooting their first free throws here for the night. No good on that one. And the second free throw, good. It always seems the Mavs are able to compete for a title, Clark, but their window might be closing with some of their stars aging, namely Dirk Nowitzki. You're exactly right, Kevin, because Dirk is the centerpiece of that franchise, has been for over a decade. They made the Rondo trade last year, trying for a big finals run, but eventually they'll start to have to build for the future. Knight passes to Freak. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. He's yours, he's yours. 35 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here is Berea. He's coming off a 10-point game against Brooklyn. But his passing just blew me away. I mean, to see him operate their offense that way was a breath of fresh air. Oh, that's good. I'm not sure how he gets that pass off. I thought for sure he was going to pull the trigger. Now, Freak. With two seconds left, some solid defense from Harris. Some great action here early as we end the first quarter. Clark in a tie. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. Transitioning from college to the pros can be a challenge for many players. Here's what Freak had to say about adjusting his game to the NBA. The biggest difference is endurance, both mentally and physically. The college season is what? 
30, 40 games max. That's not even halfway through an NBA season. Plus, you're playing against the best talent every night. I'm just trying to put in work. Ah, good points, Clark. What role do coaches play in helping you? And a new group getting ready for Dallas. Powell, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Villanueva comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. Parsons checked in for Wesley Matthews. And Berea subbed in for Harris. We've got Chandler Parsons. Powell is out there with Charlie Villanueva. Then there's Darren Williams. And it's Berea in at the point guard position. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Parsons outside. Feeds it to Villanueva. Kicks it out to Parsons. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. And Chandler Parsons, boy, he can really give you a whole lot of everything. Length, quickness, skills, and shoot, pass, rebound, defend, the total package. And back to Chandler Parsons. His versatility is so valuable to any scheme. We've now seen that in both Houston and Dallas. He gives you percentages and good production every time out. He does, Kevin. But the, the one area where I'd like to see him improve is his physical strength. I mean, to take his game to the next level, he's got to be able to play through contact a little bit better. If he can do that, we're talking about a guy who could be a perennial all-star. They grabbed their own miss. For Dallas, they've gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. That's good. Parsons got eight points. I love how he establishes his post position inside before he converts. Now here's Freak, guarded by Berea. Freak dishes to Lure. Knight, that's a two-pointer, and it comes off the front of the rim. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. He got that one up quick. And it's a four-point Dallas lead. A great second quarter here after a difficult first. I'd say they knocked the rust off. Sometimes it takes a little while before you get the blood flowing and you find your rhythm. Now, here's Warren. He's tightly guarded. Five to shoot. There's Freak. And that one's good. Freak's got five now. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around it. It's Williams with the drive. No good from 11 feet. Suns have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Here's Freak. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Dallas shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Stolen by Warren. Kicks it to Len. 11 feet away. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And he placed that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. Now here's Villanueva. Defense is right there. Sweet little floater. And the Mavericks lead by two. Guys, that time he went for the fancy finish for us there, man. That was sweet. Freak with it. Misses in close. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance and cause that shot to go up. Okay, guys, let's focus and get down to business. Now, here's a few things I took away from the first half. A nice chunk of our offense in the first half came from the low. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now. And so it's Phoenix who scraped by with the win. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battle.